All right, this video is meant to be a follow-up to my big long solar video. I just wanted to go over a couple of things that I've I've changed and uh, talk briefly about my GFCI outlet and uh, how I have it wired. So, for starters, I installed this battery disconnect here. Um, whenever I want to rewire or play around with any of the wiring on this system, um, and I don't want to worry about electrocution, hit that, and then the batteries are completely shut off from the rest of the system, and I can do what I need to do. That's pretty great. Also, if you recall, um, this negative bus bar was broken, and so I've replaced it with a brand new one. Uh, they're kind of cheapo things, but uh, as long as it's doing what I need it to do, I'm happy. So that's where I'm at with that. Uh, and now my GFCI outlet. Um, you can see I've got this little tester. Um, both of my yellow lights are lit up, which as you can see on this little cheat sheet is the correct way or uh, it's wired correctly. Um, the way that a GFCI outlet works from what I understand is that it tests between, it, it's a safety mechanism that tests uh, it reads the current between the neutral and the ground, and in the event that they're off due to a short, or if you drop your uh, hair dryer into the bathtub, uh, the GFCI outlet will trigger. That's what that test button is supposed to simulate. And then you can, once everything is fixed, or you know, if it was a false alarm, you hit the reset button, everything turns right back on. The way that I've wired my GFCI outlet to work this way is that I have tied in my neutral and my ground wire right at my inverter. Um, I've done a bunch of research. I've seen other people that have taken their ground wire and attached it to the other side, like in here, of the DC ground. Um, but I was not able to get it... I, I was able to get power that way but I was not able to get my GFCI to work and my test, my little GFCI tester only showed one light in the middle, which as you can see is the open ground indication. Um, so yeah, I could run stuff, but I did not have my GFCI protection. And the whole point of having a GFCI outlet is that you protect yourself from electrocution. So I went back to the drawing board, did a bunch more research, uh, even called Morningstar and tried to figure out the best way to do this and uh, this is ultimately what I have decided. Um, a note about why I have my ground and my neutral tied in right at the AC terminal. Uh, I do not have shore power. I don't, I'm not tied into any kind of RV converter uh, plug for my electricity. This is a completely off the grid system. Um, so since I don't have the luxury of an actual earth ground, this is the best that I can do for, for my system. Um, other people have reported that this is also what they do. Um, it's, as far as I can tell, it's safe. Um, it makes my GFCI outlet work, which really is all I care about. Um, so as long as uh, I have a ground and, a GF and some GFCI protection, then I... As far as I'm concerned, this is the correct way to go. So that's my system. I'm sure somebody's going to take issue with the way that I have it set up, and somebody else is going to praise me for solving their problems. That's usually how it goes with these bus videos. I'll give you a quick preview of what else I've been working on. You can see I've got my... Uh, this is not attached yet, but that's my composting toilet. Shower is roughed in, and I have some lights. Thanks for watching, everybody. One more thing that I wanted to mention I wanted to thank Handy Bob for his RV battery charging puzzle website. I have a printed copy of it right here, I've highlighted it and everything. 90% of my solar setup is uh, was designed based off of information that I got from Handy Bob and his website. Uh, he is a retired electrical engineer 
who uh, got sick of hearing generators polluting his ears whenever he was at a campsite, so he created this website that basically shows you how to set up solar properly, get the most out of it um, for cheap, and uh, basically get to a point where you can throw out your generator. Uh, the system I have right here has enough battery capacity that it should be able to last me several days without sun, and I would still be able to to do all the things that I want to do in this bus, um, ultimately. So, uh, thank you, Handy Bob. Anybody else that is interested in doing this, please look into Handy Bob. Also, please go to my website, DIY Schooly, that's D-I-Y-S-K-O-O-L-I-E dot com for more updates on this project and uh, links to other places where I'm posting stuff. So, thanks again for watching.